I'm going to go ahead and log into uh, my course. You can see that I'm in my course, and I can see that this course is unpublished, and I can see in our course status that it's unpublished. By default, only teachers can see this course until it's published, meaning students and parents who are listed as observers in your course won't be able to access the course until you've put it into a published state. There are two ways to publish a course. The first one I'm going to go ahead and advise against. You can simply click the Publish button. And the reason why I'd advise against uh, simply clicking the Publish button is that um, at that particular moment in time, any student or parent who's enrolled in your course will start receiving notifications um, as well as being able to access the course. Therefore, on the left-hand side um, in the course navigation settings, I'm going to go ahead and suggest that you select Settings. And then as you scroll down under the uh, Course Details tab, you'll notice that the start date is listed um, uh, for the course. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and select uh, to uh, publish the course on um, Monday, October 28th at 11 p.m. And I'm going to go ahead and click Done. And then I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and click Update Course Details. Once I do, I can see that um, automatically on August 28th um, at 11 p.m., my course is going to be published. You'll want to clarify with your division director about the start date for uh, setting the publication of your uh, course. Um, but in the meantime, um, uh, you're ready to go ahead and continue to create course materials in your course.